हेलो एवरीवन सो राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस क्लेविकल शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट डिस्कशन व्हाट आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट व्हेन एवर यू आर रीडिंग व्हाट यू हैव टू नो हाउ टू रीड एनी बोन लाइक द आवर कॉलर बोन लाइक द आवर स्केपुलर दिस डिफरेंट थिंग बिकॉज वॉट विल हैपन यस सी हियर बेटर दैट यू विल सी द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द इमेजेस दिस इज द इमेज फ्रॉम द अवर वेरी स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक ग्रेज एनाटमी also we will look for the our different textbook description that is our bd chauraskia sir book or you can say our vishram singh sir book this all the things we will carry one by one so try to understand what i want to tell you first thing which you have to know about the bone that is our identification you have to identify this is the clavicle or the scapula okay sir and then next thing is our anatomical position how this particular bone will be presented in our body either in this way or in this way or in this way or what is the position after that you have to know about the proper our description with the side of determination you have to say about the site right side or the left side of the bone getting the point so now try to understand about this all the different points this is the very typical type of the bone no other bone in our body can you see this is s shaped yes sir this is little bit s shaped helical shaped it is a long bone yes sir it is having more length so it is a long bone and s shaped bone no other bone such kind of the way in our body this is our collar bone or clavicle yes this is known as the beauty bone because nowadays in this slim trim era any person who is having more prominent clavicle he or she is considered as more beautiful more handsome that's why which bone is known as beauty bone answer is clavicle okay so just your just check your clavicle it is how much prominent if it is more prominent you are under the category of the handsome or under the category of the beautiful okay so what i want to tell you yes this is the collar bone also it is known as a collar bone because it is situated at the collar region now try to understand yes this bone is having the medial two third and lateral one third medial two third lateral one third according to the your bd chaurasia sir book but see here the recent updates from the our grays anatomy so i am going to show you the grays anatomy update also yes you can get all the updates with our videos it is clear cut saying lateral 2/5 and medial 3/5 so this will be your ams question ini cet pattern question this will be the question from your yes next exam so you can follow our 41st edition grace anatomy page number 800 where it is clear cut saying the medial 3/5 and lateral 2/5 why this variation why the dr bd chaurasia sir book is saying this one why the grace anatomy is saying this one i will tell you in evolution embryology part in next detail class so right now what you have to understand yes it is having the medial 2/3 lateral 1/3 or medial 3/5 lateral 2/5 we are following both the things i will say medial 2/3 lateral 1/3 because mostly in the colleges medial 2/3 and lateral 1/3 will be taught but remember whenever you are opting the answer for your neat exam next exam ini cet ams usmle this all kind of the central institute exams you have to opt medial 3/5 lateral 2/5 getting the point better okay so these all are all are the different points so okay sir short and sweet yes first you have to look for the side determination can you see one part is flat and another part is rounded i am showing you see here this is little bit quadrangular or rounded while this end end is flat okay so this quadrangular end it is presenting the medial 2/3 so medial 2/3 convexity is anteriorly just feel the clavicle in your body so there is the convexity anteriorly medial 2/3 it is convex anteriorly while the lateral 1/3 is convex posteriorly okay sir now also this is correct position and also this is correct position again you will see medial 2/3 is entry later 1/3 posteriorly but now the main point i am deviating little bit from the book main points i am telling you below the clavicle there is a one depression there is a one sulcus gadda hai okay 
दैट गड्ढा इज नोन एज ग्रूव यस बिलो द क्लेविकल दैट्स वाई यू विल से सब क्लेवियन ग्रूव आई नो राइट नाउ यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू वॉच इन दिस वीडियो बट वेन यू विल होल्ड द बोन यू विल ऑब्जर्व प्रॉपरली यू विल लुक येस देर इज द बोन देर इज द ग्रूव बिलो द क्लेविकल दैट्स वाई सब क्लेवियन ग्रूव ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यू हैव टू कीप दिस सब क्लेवियन ग्रूव डाउन साइड ओके so you have to keep this subclavian groove can you see in this image yes here is the our subclavian groove okay so what you have to remember this is our 3d anatomy part and also in this 3d anatomy part see here yes you can observe here can you see this is our clavicle yes this is our clavicle can you observe beta and when i am turning the clavicle add the below part add the below part there is a one depression this depression is known as our subclavian groove yes just observe at this part can you see below the clavicle there is a depression what i told you beta yes this is the our clavicle we are turning and we are looking on the downside always remember you have to keep this subclavian groove downside okay sir now try to understand yes medial two third convex anteriorly lateral one third convex posteriorly subclavian groove downside fine sir so only one position is possible this if you are keeping in this position subclavian groove is going upside so wrong so this is the position okay so definitely remember in this situation it is the bone of the right side now how you will hold during the viva this is no this is the position no you have to hold the clavicle in your body position exact side you have to show sir this is my clavicle okay this is the anatomical position in the males the yes in female the medial and the lateral part both are at the same level but in the males yes the lateral end is little bit higher okay so okay fine this is the your clavicle so you will present it during the viva in this way so in our detail class i will teach you beta magic of four medial two third four surfaces four important facts lateral one third four important facts see here medial two third part it is quadrangular it is having the surfaces anterior surface posterior surface superior surface inferior surface this is the medial end and here is the lateral end so medial two third four surfaces four important facts see here anterior surface anteriorly which muscle is there pectoralis major so remember one point what you have to remember on the anterior side yes here is your grey's anatomy i will teach you step by step see here on this clavicle yes in the front part there is our particular muscle which muscle it is situated in the pectoral region and big muscle that's why you will say pectoralis major getting the point fine sir now try to understand after this pectoralis major yes there is the one muscle on the back side okay this muscle will take origin from the posterior part of the medial two third of the clavicle and it will go towards the our yes hyoid bone actually this muscle takes origin from the sternum few part is attached from here and goes to the hyoid so that is the sternohyoid remember this all are origin and what is the origin and what is the insertion we have seen during our yes general anatomy detail part so there is a pectoris major origin entry surface of the clavicle sternohyoid origin on the posterior surface of the clavicle okay and then superior surface see here here is a clavicle so one muscle is coming from the sternum and reaching to the our mastoid process okay so that muscle is arising from the sternum as well as clavicle and getting insertion into the mastoid process that's why this muscle is known as sternocleidomastoid sterno taking origin from the sternum cleido means clavicle and going for the mastoid process so sternocleidomastoid feel here feel here in your neck feel at this part i am showing you in our 3d anatomy part beta see here yes Uh, looking for the our muscle sternocleidomastoid so here is a muscle of the neck of the muscle of the neck i am hiding that and can you observe this particular muscle yes can you observe this beautiful 3d video presentation 
this is the muscle which is taking origin from the sternum okay sir taking origin from the clavicle okay sir both are fusing together and running towards the one bony process which is situated behind the our ear here is the ear here is a mastoid process so this particular muscle is sternocleidomastoid so what i want to tell you sternocleidomastoid is there one more thing what is the ligament at the below side yes here is the one ligament which is attached with the sternum yes try to understand that ligament is actually attached with the costal means ribs so that ligament is attached between the, our rib as well as our clavicle what should be the name rib means costo and it is attached with the clavicle so your answer is costo clavicular ligament four important facts i told you four borders are four surfaces are there anterior surface posterior surface superior surface inferior surface anterior surface is having the attachment of pectoralis major origin yes superior surface is having the origin of sternocleidomastoid yes posterior surface is having origin of sternohyoid and inferiorly one ligament that is our yes costoclavicular ligament in detail class i will teach you this all the things why see here the latter one third part the latter one third part it is having the anterior border posterior border so there is the superior surface inferior surface now are you getting the point why the general anatomy was important because if you are having clear cut idea what is the anterior what is the posterior what is the superior what is inferior that is beneficial that's why beta i taught you entirely the two month the general anatomy in each and every detail integrating with all the different subjects which are going to ask in your nmc national medical commission and competency based medical education according to the recent pattern so what i want to tell you see here the bone anterior border is there posterior border is there superior surface is there inferior surface is there anterior border here i will show you there is the one muscle which is delta in shape do you remember i shown you i shown you the delta shape muscle yes sir this is the our delta shape muscle can you see yes this is the three dimensional orientation see here this is delta shape muscle which is attached with this particular bone can you see this one clavicle yes see here this is our delta shaped muscle which is attached to the clavicle so this is our deltoid can you observe this deltoid muscle is attached to the our clavicle lateral one third anterior border okay sir now try to understand there is one more muscle can you see yes here this particular muscle is our trapezius trapezoid in shape in general anatomy we have seen now can you observe this trapezius is getting insertion yes 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 it is getting insertion into the clavicle along the posterior border okay so what i want to tell you yes here is a clavicle lateral one third anterior border gives origin to the our deltoid anterior fiber i will tell you in detail our deltoid muscle and posterior border it gives insertion to the trapezius what is the origin what is the insertion we have seen in our general anatomy part now upper surface superior surface of the lateral one third yes this is subcutaneous it is only long bone which is throughout subcutaneous so i will tell you the seven peculiarities of the clavicle in detail video getting the point better okay so this is subcutaneous that's why this bone is known as beauty bone why inferior surface can you see on the inferior side yes i know in the video it is not clear when the bone will be present when the bone will be in your hand you will get better here is the few bony elevation these bony elevation are known as conoid tubercle and trapezoid ridge yes i am showing you the our very beautiful images from the gray's anatomy exact images so you will look here the particular bony elevation that is a conoid tubercle and one bony ridge that is the our trapezoid ridge okay so you will look this different point okay so there is the our different points yes this is conoid tubercle this point this point is the our conoid tubercle okay and 
yes here is the, our trapezoid ridge can you see this one uh, yes when the bones will have bones will be in your hand then you will get better so this is the conoid tubercle and in continuity this is our trapezoid ridge here is the our insertion of the trapezius getting the point so what i want to tell you yes conoid tubercle and trapezoid ridge these both are having few collagen fibers they are known as conoid part of the ligament and trapezoid part now try to understand actually later i will teach you the scapula yes this bone is attached in this way later i will tell you beta okay this all the articulation i will tell you so what i want to tell you this is a scapula and here is a clavicle so i will teach you magic of three for the scapula so do you remember this is crobic like appearance kaunve ki choch ki tarah that's a crobic like so the clavicle is articulating with this coracoid process so here the ligament is known as coraco clavicular ligament ligament between coracoid process and the clavicle that is coraco clavicular ligament so this ligament is having two part one is attached with the conoid tubercle conoid part another is attached with the trapezoid ridge that's a trapezoid part so what i want to tell you lateral one third there is our four specialty anterior border posterior border superior surface inferior surface anterior border deltoid origin posterior border trapezius insertion superior surface yes subcutaneous inferior surface coraco clavicular ligament because it is attached between coracoid process and the clavicle complete only four things you have to remember medial surface four important fact anterior surface posterior surface superior surface inferior surface okay sir anterior surface pectoris major origin posterior surface sterno hyoid origin superior surface sternocleidomastoid inferior surface yes costoclavicular costoclavicular here coracoclavicular here costoclavicular in short you can say c c ligament coracoclavicular ligament you can say c c ligament both side there are the c c ligament but here is our costoclavicular and here is our coracoclavicular ligament and here there is a subclavian group within which there will be the our muscle subclavius muscle complete but in detail each and every thing we will see and seven peculiarities of the clavicle which is your mcq for the next that is our viva question that is our very important fact in detail class so thank you very much now we are going to start our live doubt discussion so thank you very much for today's class thank you Thank <laughs> you.